This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. A group of passionate volunteers in the Indiana Department of Natural Resources hailed the return of the King Salmon to Lake Michigan at the East Chicago Marina on Monday in an effort to revive deep sea sport fishing in Lake County. They released three and a half foot salmon fingerlings into pens built by the Lake County Fish and Game Protection Association, which will feed them daily and take care of them over the next few weeks. Currently, only about 1% of the Chinook salmon stocked every year return to where they were released in Lake Michigan. Officials are investigating the death of a 38-year-old Gary man whose body was found early Monday afternoon in the 500 West Block of 5th Avenue, according to the Lake County Coroner's Office. The Coroner's Office death investigation team was reportedly called out shortly afternoon, where they found the body of George Limas, who was identified by family members. The cause and manner of death are pending the results of an autopsy scheduled for Tuesday, the Coroner's Office said. Saturday Night Live legend Pete Davidson will perform at the Hard Rock Casino in Gary as part of his prehab tour, poking fun at his stint in rehab last year on July 26th at 7 p.m. Davidson performed at the Hard Rock Casino with John Mulaney last year, the son of a firefighter killed during the September 11th terrorist attacks. He was the youngest staff member on SNL, ultimately serving on the popular sketch show for eight seasons. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. Friday for the 21 Plus show, with all reserved seating starting at $59. And in sports, the Trinity Christian women's basketball team will be led by a new face next season. Sports director Sam Michael sat down with Jasmine Porter, who explains how the game has been a part of her family life and how it's gotten her to where she is today. I started dabbling in it at three, um, and then I kind of started getting a little bit better at it and just working with my dad and my brother. So I do come from a basketball family, and that's kind of what we prided ourselves on. Um, Were they players, both of them? Yes. Yeah, so my dad played at Tennessee Tech, and my brother played at a couple places, University of Portland, um, Weber State with Damian Lillard, and then he went to Azusa Pacific and ended up there. So we come from a basketball family. I went to San Diego State for a couple of years. I loved the city, loved my coaches and my team. It just wasn't the place for me. So I transferred closer to home with my dad, you know, him coaching me up, kind of training me and my brother. I kind of just relied on them a little bit and I went to Utah State, did pretty well out there and wanted to go play pro. My doctor said it's a no. <laughs> so I picked up the whistle instead. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.